Harvey? Harvey Specter. Alexander Leeds. I hear you're working for the Attorney General's office. And you're fighting for the oppressive capitalists. Winning for the oppressive capitalists. Oh, good for you. We should have lunch. Catch up. Who told you I was coming here today? No one. I haven't seen you in five years. You want to catch up? You want something from me, and it isn't lunch. I want to talk about Cameron Dennis. Six feet, Pisces, wavy hair. I'm serious. I haven't worked for Cameron in over a decade. What's there to talk about? The attorney general's investigating allegations that he systematically buried evidence to get convictions. So talk to people who actually work with the guy. You know, that's the problem. He stole their boss. Nobody's talking. Neither am I. Over lunch or anywhere else, so best of luck. Harvey, I was hoping for some lunch. I'm having you subpoenaed to testify before a grand jury. Enjoy your dinner. Give Cameron my best. Hey, Harvey. Glad you could make it, anyway. Tell me about the bullshit running that you staged this morning. How long did you have to wait so that you could pretend to be surprised to see me? Ten minutes. You're never early, but I didn't want to cut it too close. Well, I also just had another little run in with Alexander Leeds. <laughs> really want to drag me into this? Calm down, Harvey. I'm not dragging you into anything. They're dragging me into this. It's election year nonsense, and I wanted to warn you. So you asked me here to warn me? You know, I to reassure myself that you've got my back. How bad is it? It's nothing I can't handle, but I'm glad you're here. Look, Harvey. Whatever differences we had, we were a good team. The truth is that if anything taints the work that we did, it'll be bad for both of us. Is that a threat? I don't know. It's just reality. We put away bad people, Harvey. We fought tough battles, and we won. I taught you how to win. It's not exactly what you're telling me, though. I know that you didn't always approve of the means, but we both know that the end result was always right. You're still the best smooth talker I know. Use it now. Talk your way out of this. Settle. Because if this goes to court, there are skeletons to be found. And we'll find them. You want to bank on that? I have your back. I am not volunteering anything. But if push comes to shove, I won't perjure myself. Not even for you. I worked as an assistant district attorney for the county of New York for two years. Tell me about your relationship with Cameron Dennis. Vague. Did you and district attorney Cameron Dennis work closely together. He was my boss. He supervised all my cases. And were you personally close? Subjective. A judge would allow it. And yet there's not one here. Do you really think by deposing him on the stand, you're going to intimidate him? I think deposing him here will let him know what it will be like if this evidence is brought forward at trial. You're not getting to trial. If your client doesn't perjure himself right now, I won't have to. Were you and Cameron Dennis close? Personally. He was my mentor. It's a hard relationship to define. Moving on, counselor. All right. We don't have to talk about Mr. Dennis. Let's talk about you, Mr. Spector. In two years, you handled 18,362 cases, 36 cases a day. That's beyond impressive. Thank you. You took 147 to trial, winning them all. Don't go to trial if you're not going to win. Why'd you leave? An attorney by the name of Jessica Pearson helped me get through law school, and she felt that I could use trial experience. But I always planned on ending up at her firm and paying her back by earning that firm outrageous settlements. How am I doing? I could do better. You two think that this is a joke? Argumentative. You're damn right it's argumentative, because he knows that laws have been broken and he has an obligation to report it. Ms. Leeds. But if this is the way you want to play it, the Attorney General has given me a broad mandate to uncover what went on. And it need not be limited to Mr. Dennis. Were you part of the problem, Mr. Spector? Vague. I'll rephrase. In your capacity as Assistant District Attorney in the County of New York, did you knowingly suppress evidence in violation of the ABA Rules of Conduct, the NDAA Standards, and the New York State Bar Rule 8.4, Section C? My client would like to exercise his Fifth Amendment rights at this time. 